Okay, um, last video, the last video I did was a little bit too long, unlike the one before it. And uh, you'd probably tell that I went through here and added BC to everything that I could see needed adding to. Anyways, um, so I have just started my clock, so I suppose I should start, stop it at 4.30. Okay, I'm just making little notes to myself out loud. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and start around here. We talked about the mysterious death of Tutmosis III. Um, and I have occurred twice there. Okay. I went through this whole document going through it and adjusting, but obviously there are some things I didn't adjust. That'll be a word I'll delete later. Anyways, um, so the mysterious of death of Tutmosis III occurred in 1425 BC. And as the Pharaoh of the Exodus, Moses would have been 80 years old when this guy died. If we go back in time and add 80 years of Moses' life, what date would we arrive at? 1425 plus 80 equals 505 BC, which is within one year the beginning of the reign of Tutmosis I. So we can say that Moses was probably born around 1505 BC. This would have made him 40 in 1465 BC when he committed murder and fled. It would have made him 80 in 20, 425, 1425 BC, which was the year that Tutmose III's reign ended, according to Egyptian history. Using the flashlight method, looking at dates is a whole new ballgame. Tutmose II, you can see him there, uh, just above the writing, and then, of course, up top of him, uh, in the top right-hand corner is a statue of Tutmose I. Tutmosis II reigned for 14 years, uh, 1493 to 1479 BC. He did not reign for very long, and not long before his death, he had a son who would later become Tutmosis III. Okay, um, Hatshepsut reigned for 21 years, 1479 to 1458 BC. Usually the 21 years that Hatshepsut reigned, first as regent and then as pharaoh, are placed within the reign of Tutmosis III and the figure for both is around 54 years. She had a daughter with, uh, she had a daughter named Neferure with Tutmose the II. This will be an important topic to cover later. Hatshepsut is a very interesting ruler for several reasons. Her mummy was lost to the ages for about 3,000 years. Her mummy was identified in 2007 and is now in the Cairo Museum. Hatshepsut's reign was a reign of prosperity and advancement. This can be seen if you visit or look at her mortuary temple in Deir el Bahari, which, even with the passage of time, is an amazing and imposing complex. It seems, perhaps, that she may have had a soft side, though her mummy portrays a very dignified person whose bearing is, even in death, royal. There are a number of indicators that Hatshepsut had a talent for trade and preferred economic over military advancement. So you can see on the top right corner a picture of a woman. Now it's very interesting, she's only grasping the crook. Now the crook, it's kind of odd, the, the Egyptians didn't particularly like being around shepherds and they didn't particularly, they didn't want to be around animals. So it's rather odd that one of the royal emblems of ancient Egypt, much like a crown would be a royal emblem for rulers of, the, of Western kingdoms, that the crook and the flail, and she's holding the crook there, were royal emblems of power, just as a crown would be. But for a country of people who don't like, who, who didn't like being around shepherds, it's odd that one of the royal emblems would be a crook, which is what shepherds would use to take care of sheep. Oddly, there's no flail there. So we, looking at that, we can see that she was a different, uh, she was a different kind of ruler, and you know. She, um, you know, she had compassion on Moses, uh, you know, when he was in the basket. So we can tell that she was a very interesting person. That picture there is a digital reconstruction of her mummy. Uh, so that is likely what she may have looked like in life. And um, it was an odd feeling looking at Hatshepsut through the glass in the darker basement level of the Cairo Museum and knowing with some certainty that I was looking at someone from the Bible. It's going to cut out on me in just a moment, I think.